Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. What I'd like to do now is to show you how the MIPS Assembler, or the uh, Assembler itself, takes your instructions and translates those into machine code. Uh, I'm going to divide this video up into three parts. I'm going to do the Add first, and then the Add Immediate, and then a Shift Right Logical. And these are our type and immediate instructions. I'm not going to do the Jump and the Branch instructions. They require us to know addresses of locations inside the machine, which we, we don't know at the time that we uh, make the instructions. So let's begin. We're going to do the add first. Now um, I'm going to um, limit the registers I use. The first thing you need to know is what the register meanings are. S1, S2, S3, or dollar sign S1, dollar sign S2, dollar sign S3. Translates in the number 17, 18, 19. On the um, uh, worksheet that I give my students, I actually give them uh, this table which shows what each one of the registers uh, translate to as far as numbers. I put the numbers down there and then I put the 5-bit binary value right to uh, right below it so we don't have to worry about translating those. The other thing I give them is the uh, instruction formats and uh, which tells them the opcode, the order of the uh, op, uh, operands and then if uh, need be the shift amount and then the function field and we'll look those up there. Finally, um, uh, on this I actually also put down a binary decimal, a hexadecimal and octal translation uh, table. Well, let's get started. Um, we're going to do this instruction right here first. We're going to do an add instruction. Okay. So the first thing we need to know is we need to know the opcode. So let's find out the opcode. So we go down to our translation table and we look it up and we see that the add has an opcode of six zeros. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So that's six zeros. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the RS register. Now look here at the R-type instructions. On the instructions here, the add, the, uh, let me tab over here. This is actually the uh, RD register. This is the RS register, and this is the RT register. Excuse me, RT register. Okay, but we'll notice that whenever it's translated into the hex code, the RD register is actually last. So be very, very careful about that. Let's go ahead and put their values right here. We'll say this one is 17, this one's 18, and this one's 19. We know that. So the RS register, which is right here, is 18 or the uh, binary value is 10010. The RT register is 19, which is 10011. And then the RD, the destination register, is 17, and that is 10001. The shift amount, as we know, is zeros because this is an add instruction, so it's five zeros. And let's go down and look at the function field. The function field is one followed by five zeros. Okay, so we'll put that in here. One followed by one, two, three, four, five. Then all we do is we take these numbers and we plug them in here into the appropriate place. The opcode, six zeros. The RS register, we get that one first. That is one zero zero one zero. The RT register is 10011. The destination register is 17, 0001. The shift amount is five zeros. And then the uh, function field is that. Okay, now then what we want to do now is just translate this every four bits into a hex value. Again, you can use the table at the end to look that up. Uh, I don't need to. I got to memorize. Let me make sure this is centered so it looks uh, kind of nice. It is. Okay, so 
Uh, that one is 0. This one is 2. That one is 5. That is 3. That is 8. That is 8. This is 2. And that is 0. So the uh, hex code for that add instruction right here is uh, 025. Three eight eight two zero, and that is the correct answer. All right now, what I'd like you to do is practice this. Take an add instruction, use different registers if you want to, and um, uh, practice doing this. The tricky thing to remember is that on the instruction, the destination register is the first one. Uh, on the R type instruction, it actually is third in place. Easy to do, easy to make a mistake. Be careful. Be meticulous. On to the next video.